RAID is a data storage virtualization technology that combines multiple physical disk drive components into one or more logical units for data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. It is a way of storing the same data in different places on multiple hard disks or solid-state drives to protect data in the case of a drive failure. RAID works by placing data on multiple disks and allowing input-output operations to overlap in a balanced way and consists of two or more drives working in parallel. There are several popular RAID levels, including RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6 and RAID 10. Let us take a deeper look at each of these RAID levels. Welcome to Global Technology Options Knowledge Sharing Sessions. RAID 0 is the most basic RAID level. It offers the fastest read, write speeds and maximum availability of raw storage capacity. RAID 0 does not duplicate data, but it's actually spread or striped across two or more separate disks. For example, in a two-disk array, the data is split evenly across the two disks, it will double your speed. RAID 0 does not provide fault tolerance, it actually increases the chance of data loss. So it's just one of these disks fails, then all the data will be lost. The reason why you would want to use RAID 0 is speed. Because when you have two disk controllers working instead of one, then accessing data is much faster. RAID 1 is also called mirroring as the same data is mirrored across two disks. If you have two disk array, store your data on one disk and then keeps a separate copy of that data on the next available remaining disk. Both disks store exactly the same data, at the same time, and at all times. In RAID 1, the effective storage capacity is only half of the total drive capacity, because all data get written twice. If one disk goes down, still accessible your data. RAID 5 is the most common secure RAID level. It requires at least three disks, but can work with up to 16. Data blocks are spread across the disks and on one disk is a parity checksum of all the block data written. The parity data are not written to a fixed point, they are spread across all disks. Any one disk may fail, the data or parity on the other disk can reconstitute what was lost data. RAID 5 arrays can handle a single disk failure without losing data. If two disks were failed, all the data will be lost. RAID 6 system that combines efficient storage with excellent security and decent performance. This takes the concept of RAID 5, but the parity data are written to two disks. That means it requires at least four disks and can handle two disk failure simultaneously. If two disks fail, you still have access to all data, even while the failed drives are being replaced. So RAID 6 is more secure than RAID 5. RAID 10 consists of a minimum of four drives and combines the advantages of RAID 0 and RAID 1 in one system. It provides security by mirroring all data on secondary drives while using striping across each set of drives to speed up data transfers. This means that RAID 10 can provide the speed of RAID 0 with the redundancy of RAID 1. Just like RAID 1, only half of the total drive capacity is available. You can lose any single drive and possibly one disk failure in each subarray. Let's meet with another session next time. Watch, like, and subscribe to my channel and Facebook page for more exciting sessions.